Hey, hey, hi, 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 hey, 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 hi, 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 hey. Hi, everyone. Hey, Anthony, hi, Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of this new Jeff Rosenstock album, Hell Mode. Singer, songwriter, producer, multi instrumentalist, Mr. Jeff Rosenstock, a veteran of the punk scene at this point. Over the years, he's covered all the bases from pop punk to power pop, skate punk, indie rock, and ska. Typically fun and rowdy genre though Jeff usually finds ways to work some grim and bittersweet elements into the speedy drums and power chords, especially in his solo stuff where he makes a lot of the doom and gloom seeping into his track sound epic and righteous. Whether we're talking about some of the tragic cuts off of We Cool, uh, the very tense Worry, or the crushing No Dream, his thickest and loudest, heaviest project to date, uh, which he also made a, a ska version of. I kind of prefer that record to the original, but still. I went into this new record mostly expecting the same as Jeff has kind of proven himself to be a very consistent guy over the years, but Helmut feels like a different Jeff Rosenstock. One who's on a better track toward a more peaceful life, maintaining his sanity and his serenity, and doing a better job of distancing himself from what hurts him. The record may be titled Hell Mode, but uh, the vibes are really more about the seventh track on the album Heal Mode, as a lot of this record feels like explosive explosive pop punk therapy. Like with the boisterous Liked You Better, which has uh, certainly grown on me since I first heard it as a single. It's a big acoustic-ish cut with some grand group vocals on the hook. And of course it's catchy, it's produced well. In fact, I would say this is one of Jeff's better produced projects. It's not as rough as Worry. I think there's more space to hear everything in more clarity than there was on No Dream. All of the grand builds of vocals and instrumentation come through very clear and well balanced, which makes those big ticket crescendos and massive finales hit hard. The real selling point on this track, though, is Jeff's descriptions of physical anxiety or being driven insane by this person who is really getting to him for whatever reason they are, and essentially wanting distance from that, uh, saying, I liked you better when you weren't on my mind. There are similar sentiments expressed on the track Graveyard Song, too. When someone causes pain, it's okay to push them away, essentially allowing stuff you don't need in your life to fall off or disconnect. With Jeff also saying, fuck burning bridges, everybody start digging a graveyard for the things that need to die. There's even more mental health messaging on the record, too, with the song Doubt, which encourages listeners to drop their guard let it all out, speak even if it feels weird, even if it feels weird to be yourself. Meanwhile, Future is Dumb is an anthemic pat on the back, saying don't let fear of the future paralyze you or make you lose hope. Uh, there's also a reminder to not feel like you're owed anything by the world as tomorrow isn't promised. And I can't forget to shout out the opener, which is very much about accepting your own flaws and growing from them. The vocals on the front end of the track are maybe a bit too distorted and saturated. Things seem to open up and just generally sound a lot better deeper into the track. I'm not exactly sure what this adds to the song, this change, this shift, but it is there. But still, Jeff asks some poignant questions on this cut. Uh, will you still love me after I've fucked up? I've grown and changed, but can it ever be enough? The track is a multi-phased epic too, with these blast beat and guitar sections, some twinkly lead melodies on the bridge, and horns harmonizing with these grand group vocals that sound almost orchestral at the very finish, and are especially crushing given refrains like a took you for granted and you fell out of love. Remorse is also deeply expressed on the track Soft Living, which is a heavy, slow, plodding piece of Weezer-esque power pop. It's like something from the Pinkerton era with how rough around the edges it is, but topically it's dealing in much more large-scale issues, with Rosenstock singing about shitlord white supremacists and a doom fog, asking societally how did we go so wrong. The aforementioned heel mode is a contemplative acoustic moment on the record, with vivid descriptions of coyote. California rain, and people just peopling. As well as some cute lyrics about being inside on a lazy day with a lover again. The title is Heal Mode. I'm not surprised this track sounds like an oasis in the middle of this Hell Mode album. Meanwhile, Life Admin is one of the more mundane spots on the record instrumentally and lyrically, but I think that's by design. It is a crunchy, sunny piece of power pop that, again, is giving Weezer vibes. Jeff expresses a want to make a song about nothing on the track, and he kind of accomplishes that mission, depicting a slice of his very above average life, having seen the success that he has in music and uh, soundtracks. He's 
obviously comfortable and enjoys that, but simultaneously has a low level of contempt for uh, the, the life that he's living in a way, which I think we get a better understanding of on the closer with lyrics like, don't you pretend the world is treating us all equal when a person can starve as another one hops in a lift plus to JFK, to Europe, expenses paid, I know it's not okay, but I still participate. The song I Wanna Be Wrong picks things up in the track list once again. It's a high energy anthem, this time about the cognitive dissonance of seeing what's wrong with the world, but still having to live in it with no recourse to fix it. And again, Jeff wishes to be wrong about all the horrors and ills he sees in the world, so he can just kind of live in bliss and wipe it all from his mind. And I guess that's the thing about Jeff and this record that make it so great and engaging. There's a lot to unpack, a lot to unpack because Jeff is a restless thinker. It's like an alarm he can't turn off, and as a result, he has no choice but to sing about it. And thank God he does it so well. This is an excellent record in my opinion. I think it's one of the best Jeff has ever done. There are a few semi duds the track list here and there, but for the most part, uh, Jeff is improving, he's growing, he's fine-tuning, and showing just how versatile, dynamic, and deep uh, these genres of music can be that are often cast off as just being kind of childish and silly. And this may boil down to the sentiment of the final refrain on the record as Jeff repeats, uh, stay young until you die, which I think Jeff is doing exactly that uh, very well and in a kind of mature way too. I'm feeling a decent nine on this record. Tran. Zition, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Jeff Rosenstock, forever.